My name is Richard Llewellyn. I'm a lecturer and researcher at Edinburgh and APU University and I'm going to talk to you today about some of the research I've been doing on the use of the intelligent road stud at Sheriff Hall Roundabout. So let's take a closer look at the roundabout. Sheriff Hall is a spiral marked roundabout and like many junctions of this type historically had problems of lane adherence. We can see in this example of a near collision a vehicle in the near side lane is forced to apply its brakes as a car from lane 2 cuts across its path nearly forcing the first vehicle into the guard railing. Later on in the evening we can see another example of a near collision. On this occasion a vehicle has entered the roundabout in the wrong lane. Now if we watch again in slow motion we can see the impact of this. The vehicle should be turning left if in the near side lane, however it decides to proceed ahead and changes lane within the roundabout. In doing so it cuts across the path of a second vehicle which is forced to take evasive action. So let's look now at the solution that's been implemented. So we're now travelling eastbound on the Edinburgh City Bypass towards Sheriff Hall Roundabout. Drivers are given lane designation signs, lane designation markings, a further set of lane designation markings and a lane designation sign, so they should by this point have a clear idea of which lane they should be in. As we get closer to the junction, drivers are then given an advanced destination sign, showing them the destinations that can be reached from the roundabout. And at this point the approach flares from two lanes to four. We can see there's another lane designation sign, a set of lane designation markings, and a final set of lane designation markings before reaching the stop line. Whilst we're at the roundabout, it's worth reflecting on one of the issues of spiral markings. You can see here that due to the crossfall or camber of the roundabout, the lane markings tend to merge together, making the route through difficult to make out. On this basis, perhaps some drivers could be forgiven for taking an inappropriate path through the junction. The installation of the intelligent road stud, however, seeks to rectify this. As the traffic signals change to green, the studs are activated and the drivers are shown a clear route ahead. Now it's worth noting as we drive through the roundabout that this video has been filmed during daylight hours, yet the studs are still clearly visible. We can see from the patches of blue sky that this is a reasonably fine day, well at least by Scottish standards, but what about other environmental conditions that might be experienced? What do the studs look like in other types of weather and how do they perform? So we can see here at the bottom of the screen the studs in both wet conditions and during hours of darkness. At night the studs are at their brightest, but it's worth emphasising that our research has shown the reduction in lane transgressions to be equal, if not even greater during daylight hours. This is primarily due to the relationship between traffic density and the propensity to transgress lanes. And that brings us to the end of our video. We hope you found it useful and informative, and if you require any further information on the scheme, the project partners would be delighted to assist.